Hey guys, it's Sarah. So today is going to be a very short video because I need to make dinner in a bit. But I just really wanted to show you guys. I have a very big surprise. The chickens are officially in the new run. I finally finished it actually yesterday and we put them in yesterday. So this is actually the very first day being in here. It's taken my fam. Oh. Look, they all just came and walked up to me. Hi guys. They associate me with mealworms. So it's taken my family months to finish this, but we finally did it. And now I'm just going to give you a little tour of everything. Oh, I also do um, want to say I didn't really film us putting the chickens in, but I did take some little videos, so I will put them in right now. Like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> they scratch. Alright, well here's the one. It's very DIY. We used a lot of things that we just already had laying around. Um, so the door we built with scrap wood that we already had. These were actually given to us from my grandpa. Um, got this at Walmart. And then we lock it with just like this little thing. And then what we have to for protection, we have hard wire cloth, chicken wire, and hawk netting so it's triple protected this is the little um coop that they go into at night and to lay eggs we're going to be putting hinges on this so we can lift it up for, but for now it's just screwed on oh look egg thank you chickens all right now i'm just going to give you guys a little tour of everything there's not much in here so it's going to be a short video but still so I'll open it up and what I really like is that I can walk inside here and just be with the chickens. That is what they used to be in. So as you can see, I couldn't walk in there. But now I can. Alright, so we have four lion dots in here. I got them um, last year in August, actually. So it hasn't even been an entire year. So, let's see. Right here's our oyster shells. This is for the chickens. It helps them. Um, I think it helps. I'm pretty sure helps give them calcium and it helps um, make their eggs harder. This is their food. We used, um, for food we use flock razor. The reason for that is because we're about to put the new chicks in here. The layer pellets that they used to have aren't really safe for the chicks. So this right here is actually going to be safe for everyone. This is the water. It's kind of dirty. I gotta get the dirt out. That's the water. I just used two five gallon buckets and I bought these things off of Amazon. So they're just in here. This is another thing that I didn't buy. This was already here. It's just a pallet that I just put at an angle so the chickens, they can come up here and roost or pitch. Then, oh, right here. This is a cute little thing I got at Dollar Tree, actually. I got this sometime last year. It just makes noise. For the roof, we actually use PVC pipes. And then we also got these um, gate uh, stakes, I think they're called. I can't remember. So here it is in here. The phone's kind of at an angle. I can just pick up a chicken. Yeah, I can just pick up a chicken and hang out. So yeah, this is our coop. They are loving it. I can't remember the exact size of it. But it's a very nice, decent size, for especially for chickens. Even for eight chickens, it's pretty large. So I'm very, very happy about this. The thing I like most about this is that it does have an enclosed roof, so nothing can get in, but it's still tall, so the chickens can fly pretty high. So the next video you guys should be seeing, I think at least, will be me making the dust bath. The dust bath is going to be a baby pool that I get, and then I will show you guys what I put in it when I do, but it should be pretty cool. Chickens, as you can see, are just loving it. There's so much for them to um, peck around with. And there, there was like there was like only dirt and um, straw. But in here, there's grass, there's bugs. Um, yeah, as you can see, this right here was grass, and they made it all dirt. 
So I'm pretty sure that sooner or later all of this will be dirt, which is fine. We're expecting it. This is what it looks like from here. We just screwed on a piece of wood so, you know, it was connected. And here it is. We have a light that will keep on day and night. This helps um, the chickens be less afraid and it shows them where to go at night. And then we have a brick right here. If we want to close it, we just close it up. We don't really close them in ever. I am thinking about getting an automatic door. So if I do, then they would be actually closed in. But for now, we just keep this open. And yeah, the coop is pretty predator proof. I'm actually going to get the dirt out of this. So, basically. Look at them watching me. Oh, way. All right, that's good enough. And yeah, okay, this is the coop. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you like this one. Let me know if you have any ideas of things I can put in here. I've thought about putting like one of those swings, but I've read that chickens don't really like them that much. But yeah, I definitely want to put some more enrichment in here. So let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for that. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to follow me on this animal journey. Thanks for watching. Bye.